Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Virgo. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, help me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Virgo. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. Just as a side note, with any donation you give, if you choose to, you could ask me a question in the comment section. And I will make a tarot video for you answering that question. I want to apologize in advance for any background noise you may hear due to the dog snoring. I scurry the crystal ball for you today, and the image that appeared within the crystal ball for you was very interesting. It was a child angel. The child had uh, these very large wings that were very detailed, and it was like there was almost shading to the wings of it. And the child was dressed in winter clothing and was wearing one of those hats that kind of stick up, you know, that you wear in the winter. And the child was kneeling, and it was on a sleigh, and it was being pulled by two horses. Now, the first horse that I could see that came in clearly was a white horse, and the other one looked almost like a dark horse, and then almost like a white and dark horse. And this child was being pulled by these horses on the sleigh. And uh, so how I'm interpreting this with this coming in for you is this angel child is coming in very quickly. It's almost like the chariot card is what I'm feeling here. So your angelic protection, your guidance, your this innocence is going to be coming in very quickly for you and towards you. So if you're going through a difficult situation right now, I do see that your angelic guidance, you're going to end up seeing that impact your life more than what you could possibly be seeing right now at the moment. Um, the white horse could also symbolize uh, death. It could symbolize a transition. So perhaps the ending of a relationship with perhaps, you know, uh, people that are on a low vibrational level, you know, ending a relationship with those people. And also with death comes rebirth. So there's going to be this like new renewal, this spiritual renewal that's going to be coming to you. Uh, the first card to come out for you is the Two of Cups. So with the Two of Cups being here, this could have been a person that you perhaps thought you had a soulmate connection with, where there's going to be um, this like, almost like, deep connection that you could have felt for this individual but this individual caused you this nine of wands energy where there was this falling out between you and this person where you're this wounded warrior person now this person could have either been someone that you thought was a soulmate or just someone that you cared a lot about you know so this could even be like a friend or a family member you know so take it how it resonates it all apply differently to everyone but with the nine of wands being here this person put you in the wounded warrior energy you know where you feel battered and worn out from dealing with this individual you're being told to stand your ground with this individual here with the seven of wands because this person is going to try to to um, swindle you or take from you here because the seven of wands was paired up to the knave of coins, which is good news in earthly matters. So you're going to be receiving some type of good news in regards to your finances, some type of financial abundance, some type of blessing that's coming your way. But you're being told to stand your ground. And I'm kind of just picked up on this right now is like not even just like them swindling or trying to take from you, but like even trying to cause a fight with you so that you get like in legal problems so that you lose out on this blessing so that could be a specific message out there for someone um next card out for you is the five of wands so this is fighting and arguments and disputes they want to cause turmoil within your life because they see these blessings coming in for you next card out for you is the knight of swords so with the eight of swords being here this is mental prison they want to put you in like a mental prison and possibly even actually a physical prison. So be careful with arguing with them. Yes, stand your ground, stand up for yourself. Don't allow yourself to be bullied. But make sure it doesn't get, what would be the word for it, like physical, where you can get like in legal problems. Um, the next card out for you is temperance. So with temperance being here, there's going to be a balance that's going to be coming into your life. And I feel it's like that angel child that's coming in very quickly on the chariot almost is going to be coming in for you where you can have this balance and this peace. Next card out for you is the Nine of Cups. So with the Nine of Cups being here, you're going to have wish fulfillment. Your dreams are going to come true here with the Nine of Cups where you're going to have peace and balance as well. Next card out for you is Winter Solstice Bear Hibernation. This card has been coming out a lot lately. So with this card coming out, it's letting you know that to take time to recharge, rest, get as much sleep as you can, you know, to recharge yourself. And it's letting you know that in the things we do not understand is where the miracles happen. So expect miracles that are going to be coming your way. Um, the next card out for you, and this card has been coming out a lot lately as well, is Red Root Shadow Side. So with this card coming out, it's letting you know that you could be very much connected to the, you know, astrological signs, the planet movements, you know, and things of that nature, your north and south node. So with this coming out, it's letting you know that um, you could be need to, or perhaps you are studying 
the north and south nodes, the signs and houses within your south node fall are places to look for such tendencies. So on the opposite side of your chart is the north node, which holds your life direction and soul's purpose. We carry gifts and talents from the south node that we can use to access our north node. Similarly, your shadow side can be a gold mine where you can uncover hidden strengths and abilities. So your south node could be like, you know, whatever it is that is causing you, you know, stress, but, or what we think are our internal weaknesses could actually end up being our strengths. You know, once we master those, then it's going to end up being our strengths and is going to help you unlock, you know, your spiritual gifts as well. Um, it has the, also the representation of, you know, being careful not to carry family patterns you know, like generational, you know, curses. So you're going to be like the general race, generational curse breaker. So, you know, so, you know, release anything, you know, toxic things that your family could have like put in your mind, making you, you know, think bad about yourself and things of that nature. The medicinal benefit of the red root is, could be used as a New Jersey tea and it could also help with enlarged spleens. So it has lots of medicinal benefits, you know, that are worth looking into. So all in all, it's setting, you know, basically to, you know, Stand your ground with this individual, whoever this is, because they're going to be very jealous and they're coming from a low vibrational energy. They're coming from a, a not a good, a, they're coming from a demonic energy, basically. And they're jealous of your blessings that God is going to be giving you. But, you know, stand your ground with this individual. Don't allow them to try to swindle you. Do not allow them to try to basically set you up to where you get in trouble and you can't enjoy these blessings. So, but all in all, regardless, balance and peace is going to be restored. Even if there is a period of arguing and, you know, stress, there is going to be balance. That's going to be restoring your nine of cups, which is your wish fulfillment and your dreams coming true. So all in all, I do see a very positive reading here for you and know that your angels are coming in very quickly for you, especially on the chariot, where you're going to be seeing more of an impact of their, um, their, their being around you at this time. All right, if this resonates with you, Virgo, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.